we are going to do a proof by induction divisibility proof. Um, and this is one of the examples out of the textbook. Um, so I didn't want to do one that you should practice. So this will be um, a starting place for you. Um, and then you get to practice and, and just get good at it. Um, okay, so as we remember, anytime we do proof by induction, we've got um, our three steps. So step one is to show um, that n equals one is true. In our ladder example, if you can't get your foot on the ladder, you can't climb the ladder. So if you can't even make it to the first step, the whole thing doesn't work. So in this case, I have 4 to the 1 plus 2. Well, that's equal to 6. And, and that, we, we could say 6 is divisible. I can't spell. Um, divisible by 3. Okay, so we have kind of shown, we've shown there step 1. Step 2, we will assume n equals k is true. Okay, so we're going to say that 4 to the k plus 2 is divisible by 3. Okay, so I'm, I'm writing that in, and that, that's my step 2. Okay, now looking at step 3, we need to show that n equals k plus 1 is true. So somehow I need to manipulate this scenario so that I can get to something where I know for sure it's divisible by 3. Um, and there's, there's a few different ways to do it, but here, here we go. I'm... I'm just thinking through this problem for the first time as I video it. So, I have um, k to, excuse me, 4 to the k plus 1 plus 2, and I need to show that this is divisible by 3. Well, I know that 4 to the k plus 2 is divisible by 3, so somehow I want, that needs to show up somewhere in, in my work. Um, if you know, this is 4 to the k times 4 to the 1 plus 2. So one option might be to get this, um, to manipulate this part right here so that it's also being multiplied by 4 so that I could factor out a 4 from both of those terms. Um, so if I say 4 to the 4k, that's just rewriting that, plus, well, if I want to factor out, I need to make, I need to turn this into 8. Okay, so that, that way I could say that this is 4 times um, 2 and factor out the 4. Um, when I When I do that, though, I can't just, like, change a value, but I could always add 0. So if I say, well this, if I say um, 2, I can say plus 6 makes that 8, but then I can also say minus 6. Um, this right here, in essence, what I have done is I have added 0. Um, so I still, all of this is what I had before, and then I'm adding 0. So rewriting this, I have 4 times uh, 4 to the k plus 8 minus 6, well, now I can factor something out of those two terms. Um, the actual proof, the write-up, the, the, a lot of these, the, the way that you write it up matters a lot. Um, you can, like this bracket's just to help show you what's going on. Um, I wouldn't include the bracket in the final proof. I wouldn't include that dotted box, but if you do, life goes on. Um, okay, so I can factor out a 4, and I'm left with 4 to the k plus 2 minus 6. Well, and therefore we... Um, here is where I tend to just write a sentence. Um, since 4 to the k plus 2 is divisible by 3, and negative 6 is divisible by 3, 4 times 4 to the k plus 2 minus 6 is divisible by 3. So I kind of use, I, I have this part right here, since that part is well, since this is divisible by 3, multiplying it by 4, it's still divisible by 3. And we know that 6 is divisible by 3. Um, and our final statement, we always like those, therefore. Therefore, 4 to the n plus 2 is divisible by 3 for all, well, n element of the integers. Actually, the positive integers. Super.